I'm Anil Kumar. Here is an example on probability using counting principles. The question is, in a lottery, Lotto 649, six different numbers are chosen at random from 1 through 49 inclusive. That means both 1 and 49 are included. Find the probability of the following events. A. The first number on the ticket matches. B. The first two numbers match. C is all six numbers match. So that's a grand prize. Okay, you can pause the video and answer this question. Now let us see how to solve this question using counting principles. So what we are given here is that in Lato 649, six different numbers are chosen. So we are looking into six different numbers, right? So once you choose a number, it can be, cannot be selected again, right? So that means it is dependent and we look into the permutation. So 6 out of 49, you get an idea, right? So the total number here is uh, in our sample space is uh, from 49, we select 6. So 49P6 becomes that number. So that is the total sample space. A, the first number on the ticket matches. Well, when we consider the matching of first number, so as far as only one position is concerned, now in this one position, only one number can match, right? So the probability for this will be one which matches. And we have 49 choices here. So we have 49 choices. total. So in this case, it is going to be 1 over 49, right? So this is for all 6, okay? The first number on the ticket matches means 1 over 49 is the probability. They are only comparing the first number. Now, B is the first two numbers match. So we are now comparing the first two numbers. Both match. So that means there is only one combination Right? So that is the combination which will match both, correct? Nothing else in a perfect order. However, if I select one of the 49s in the first case, then in the second case, since we have different numbers, I have to select only from 48. Perfect. So in this case, the probability is 1 over 49 times 48. Part C, all six number match. Now, if all six numbers match, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So what we get here is this numerator is just one, perfect. And in the denominator, we have 49 times 48 times 47 times 46 times 45 times 44, which that means could be written as 49p6 right so that becomes the solution for the case 3 we can always use the calculator to find the answer so first one is clear 1 over 49 the next one is let's we are dividing by 49 times 48 which is equal to 2352 this could be written as 1 over 2, 3, 5, 2. And in this case, we are dividing 1 by 49p6. 49p6. That gives us as equal to 9.932 times 10 to the power of minus 11. Right? So, so these are the probabilities for each. So the probability for the first case is, is let me write just 1 over 49. For the second case, it is 1 over 2352. Two. And for the third case, it is 9.932 into 10 to the power of 11. Right. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views and I hope you like it. Thank you and all the best.